Hello, Ginger Man here, and I'm back out on the road, and I'm in beautiful Burnt Island. Yes, I've already conquered the Bin Hill. I've walked from Burnt Island to Kinghorn on the Five Coastal Path, and then I thought to myself, you know what, I cannot continue these journeys and not go back and have an in-depth look at Burnt Island. Just one glance online, and this place is a historical gold mine, and I cannot wait to get looking around. Anyway, Burnt Island, peace! I'll turn on the camera Test my microphone Firing up the podcast Sound waves coming to your This looks historic and fascinating. Shall we explore deeper? There's some ruins there. <coughs> it's the Kirkton Church and it tells us it's 12th century. Look at this, we can't go in. Look at the view of the Bin Hill. Phenomenal stuff. They call this the Big Dipper in Burnt Island. So I'm doing a little bit of reading here. Uh, I'm just going to read to you as I walk and hopefully we can make sense of it all. The earliest historical record of the town was in the 12th century when the monks of Dunfermline Abbey owned the harbour and neighbouring lands. The settlement was known as Wester Kinghorn and developed as a fishing hamlet to provide food for the inhabitants of Ross End Castle. The harbour was then sold to James V by the abbots of Dunfermline Abbey in exchange for a parcel of land. The land was granted royal borough status by James V in 1541. When the status was confirmed in 1586, the settlement gained independence from the barony of Kinghorn and was renamed Burn Island, possibly a nickname from the burning of fishermen's huts on an inlet now incorporated into the docks. The thing I'm learning about Burnt Island is its ability to adapt over the centuries. Um, because as we spoke earlier, um, it's sort of more of the, the ancient history. As we look to the to more modern history, we realise that Burnt Island's been famous for shipbuilding. It's been a ferry port from uh, Burnt Island to Granton over in Edinburgh. And again, a major part of the Fife coal mining industry. So really, it's a jack of all trades here. Fascinating. So we're just down at the shipbuilding part. Let's go and check it out. So here we are on Harbour Place. There's the smugglers in. So I guess that's where the smugglers came. And they were smuggling stuff in. Burnt Island, they got the smugglers in. So this building, 1888. This is about 100 years. 100 years pre Ginger Man. That's so we come up to Burnt Island train station. Which again, as we look back to Kinghorn, we realise how important Burnt Island and Kinghorn are together. Are we allowed around here? It's a fancy old building. Is this the train station? I have no idea. Uh, old, it's old station house, of course. How did I not know? There we go, this is lovely. And just a reminder of the importance of the railway system within the industries of Fife, how important it was to transport the coal 
to the water to ship it away to other parts of the country and world wherever it was needed. <laughs> You get off the train and you come into Burn Island, they're already straight up flexing the Royal Borough, a birthplace of achievement. See, man, the, the history in Burn Island is phenomenal. And of course, they're going to flex it. Look at this. Don't tell us all the spots to hit. We're here. <sighs> Fascinating town, Burn Island is. As you sort of head towards the, the main town centre, you get wafts of fish and chips and it smells phenomenal <laughs> man check this out it's like this little slice this little slice of history is just here and then it's just normal houses, streets from the modern world then you've got nature just looking over saying alright guys I'm here, I'm nature I'm the grandest thing in the room you really got to look around these places to see the best stuff, that's what I say, the best architecture, architecture, the best designs. Fascinating. It's a really refreshing place to walk around Burnt Island. Man! Because you've got the mountain, you've got the sea, the beach. This is an absolutely fantastic town. You just, you don't know what you're going to see around the next corner here. Look at this one. So as you head towards the beach, you really see the activity centre of Burn Island. You've got the swimming pool, you've got the football goals, and then over there you've got the very, very fancy skate park they've got here. So, you know, Burn Island's a place that's, that's really, really buzzing. That's, there's the beach, the Burn Island beach. Uh, it's a pretty breezy, overcast day, but it's not raining, it has been raining. There's the skate park. clouds on the bin. I think it looks super magical. And then you look at the architecture and the buildings. See if you like to write, be creative, feel inspired, music, whatever it is you do. Come to places like this, look around, look at the nature of the buildings and you will be inspired. Yeah, no, I think I'm falling in love with Burnt Island today. Maybe that's why I keep coming back. Legend. And on this building there's sundials that will help you tell the time. That's really fascinating that is. Anyway, we shall continue on as the schools are getting out and a, a picture of things getting quite busy. <laughs> Now, 
not found any tree swings in Burnt Island, but there's these giant crane tree swings. I asked the guy, he says, oh mate, I'm gonna get a shot of your tree swing. He says, bugger off. So apparently there's a castle here. I'll try to find the castle. Oh? Hello. This is cool. Look at this in the middle of the road. Wow. We're all saying castle ruins. 1362. Oh boy. Look at this. It's like I think some sort of castle ruins, but they've all just built around it and it's just become Burnt Island streets. I didn't know this existed. I do now. This is pretty cool. Burnt Island. Burnt Island, you cheeky little devil. You can literally live in a castle in Burnt Island. Look at this. This is different. Ooh, look at this one! 1665! This is quite a bizarre little street. If not the most bizarre street I've ever been on. There's a mansion, there's a castle, and it's just normal block of flats, houses, castle. You ain't ever getting streets like this anywhere else. It's be such a cool wee place to stay. Oh, it's surrounded by castles and mansions, and mountains and sea, and the co-op. <laughs> oh man, these are cool streets around here. Look at this, this is where I've come out. Oh, Seamill Pond. I found a pond. I'm always getting told off for missing ponds. Well, guess what, Burn Island? I found your pond. I'm going to be honest, there's not much going on here. It sounds a bit rickety. There you go, Seamo Pond. Collected and seen. I kind of have no idea how to get back to my car from where I'm at, but you know, we'll just go with it. What's in here? What's in here? Oh. Just loads of pigeons. Just loads of pigeons. Okay, so not that way. I go back to the car. And final thoughts on Burnt Island. This place is phenomenal. Like, I would love to live here. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got the hill behind you for if you like that. It's got the sea. The only thing it's lacking is a good woodland walk that I haven't seen yet, but I guess the walks towards the bin would concede that's woodland walks. So yeah, I'm going to head off to Hamilton now because I'm going to go and listen to the Hamilton fans, but you know, Burnt Island's been amazing. What a great way to end my week. And you know, yeah, I'm just going to keep coming back to Burnt Island because I love this place. Oh, peace. Peace.